Um, I got something to say. We got to talk about it because it's happened and you guys need to know about it. Today after work, yeah, I am so full. Like, I cannot. So today after work, uh, earlier in the day, my um, coworkers had went to um, Cadoba. You know, in the South sometimes, some of us, me, I gotta, stop, I gotta stop coining everything to the South as if everyone does what I do. Well, I used to call it Cadoba or Cadobo. Um, so they went to Cadoba, and I was like, I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, I've been, I feel like I'd been some one time before it had gotten all the way across the country a long, long time ago. Um, and so I just had admit I didn't think anything of it, you know, bad or good or anything. But they were eating these burritos. They were like, so good. I was like, it could be that good. Like, home cooking is good. So after work, I said to myself, you know what? Let me go right on over to, um, you know, and see how this Cadoba is. I walk in, pleasant. They, they greet you. They're like, hey, how you doing? And so I walk up to the counter and I say, this is my first time. What should I get? Now, this is where things get good because the uh, the server behind the counter, she was like, well, um, I usually get the nachos, you know, fill this thing up with cheese and all the toppings and everything, and then put the chips on the side. I was like, that sounds real good. And she started making it, and she was like, what kind of meat you want? I was like, you know what? I'm spurging tonight. I'm going to go with the brisket. So she made it. You know, I got the rice, the beans, um, you know, all of the fixings, the salsa, the lettuce, the, t you know, the, the uh, sour cream, and guacamole is not extra here so i was like yes make that guac rain and then she covered it in queso and i was like oh. i mean like she hooked it up real good and you know me i don't like to eat by myself in places which i need to start because sometimes you just sit down and eat so i covered you know i took it and i you know hopped on the metro and i went home and so when i get to this apartment I was sitting there and I was waiting. I opened the top and I was like, oh, this looks good. You know, I just I just bought it. But, you know, I got to make sure, you know, that I bought the right thing. I dipped that first chip inside of this bowl of everything. And I was like. Oh. <laughs> That's me having a slight heart attack because it was delicious. Like it it's almost like your grandma, your um, your grandma who knows how to make, you know, traditional um, Mexican and Hispanic, you know, Latin American style foods, you know, uh, abuela. Um, it's almost like abuela was in the kitchen cooking it up and she decided, you know, you can have some. I, sorry, my shirt, my belly. You guys know I'm lactose intolerant, but let me tell you. I could not stop eating this bowl, and I just have to say thank you, Kadoba. Like, y'all are doing some good things there. Y'all are doing some great things with y'all menu. Like, that queso had me all the way in my feelings, and I'm thinking to myself, like, oh, I work tomorrow and I can't get off in time to go get more, but I will be back the next day. So, I mean, this vlog is it's not anything but the praise. Of Kadoba, it was so good. Like, I I tried to stop eating it to show you guys on the vlog, but I mean, it was so good that there's no more. It's all gone, and those chips, they were just oh. This video's over. Like, all you need to know is go to Kadoba, get the nachos, tell them you want all the stuff in the bowl, and then you want to pour the queso over top of it and get the chips on the side. Done. Finished. You have it. You, your life is complete. Buy it for your friends, your dog, your grandma. <sighs> okay. I gotta go. You know, I gotta rest up. I'm still a little... I'm sick again because my job is always a million people there. So, I mean, I'm sick again. I gotta learn to get some hand sanitizer all day long, every day. Bye.